Hi Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your weekly love reading. The Fool. The Fool. And the Ten of Cups. Jeez, somebody here wants a new, new beginning. This is new, new. Somebody, I don't know if this is a new Divine Masculine. If this is, for some of you, this could be a new Divine Masculine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull more energy here, but I mean, Somebody wants a new beginning. They want they want it all with you. They want the house, the kids, the dog. They want it all. They, Ten of Cups, Joy. They want a family. They're ready to take a leap of faith here. I don't know. Let's see what else. Wow. Aries, Aquarius energy here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with the Ten of Cups. Show me this Divine Masculine's energy when it comes to the Divine Feminine. Good grief. Wow, three of cups, three of cups. Okay, this is like beautiful, wonderful energy here. Wow, justice. Dare I say this could be new or this is just beautiful. Balance, a very wonderful balance connection. I mean, surrounded by family and loving family and friends. I mean, hmm, what else here? The Page of Pentacles. So here goes that offer of balance, okay. Hmm, show me the Divine Masculine Energy, please. Wow, the star. You guys, this is cray cray. Three, uh, three major arcana cards out of six for the Divine Masculine, okay. This, the, the, I mean, bottom of the deck is the three of swords and the sun. Somebody's like heartbroken without you. What is going, yeah, four of cups. Somebody's like really, really heartbroken without you here. Like you see how this person's like slumped back, like just just not having a good day. Like even the, the, the shirt has a, a, like a frown face. <laughs> This person cannot deal with being without you guys. Now, if you haven't met this Divine Masculine yet, then this is someone here who's kind of having a rough time looking for you. They haven't found their person and they can't wait to meet their person. They are wishing and hoping and praying. Like they're praying and wishing upon a star that they can reunite with you, that they meet their person. Like I said, for some of y'all, this could be a new energy. <clears throat> Wow, this is very powerful, strong energy here. Somebody here wants to make an offer towards something very small, and it seems like they have a lot of emotion. Somebody has a lot of emotion for you, like a lot of emotion. Seems like a very fun connection, too, like a very fun connection between you and this person. A lot of memories, a lot of drinks, a lot of good times. Again, if you haven't met this person, then there there's good times ahead here. Let's clarify these um, major arcana cards before we move on, okay? Let's see what this fool is concerning here. Clarify the fool here. I mean, this person wants to, to hit the reset button with you and start over. The fool, damn, the Ten of Pentacles. You got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. This person wants a, definitely wants a family with you. They want something long-term, stability. Like, this person is not, even though the Page of Pentacles is here, collective, this person wants a big family or the, the two of you guys get together, they want to combine families. Like, this is, this is, I mean, Ace of Cups is on the bottom of the dang on deck. Look at this, you guys. Wow. Oof. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Somebody's blocking this. Either somebody's blocking it, blocking this Ace of Cups, or trying to block this Ace of Cups, either you from getting this Ace of Cups, or or you are protecting your energy, protecting your space, and you don't want to reconcile with this person. Wow. Okay. Show me the Divine Feminine's energy, please. Should I move? I almost feel like I should move on to a different deck to see if you guys are mirroring each other. Let's move on to a different deck real quick to see if you guys are mirroring each other. Really, really quickly, okay? 
because no, I don't want to use this deck. Okay. Let's use this one. Okay. I just want to see. Show me the divine feminist energy. Because this feels very, very new. Show me divine feminist energy for the divine masculine. Damn. Okay. D -d -d the emperor. Show me the divine feminist energy here. You're looking for your emperor. You're looking for your person. There goes that four of cups. I feel, yeah, okay. It, it was, it's kind of giving me like you're marrying each other. So the four of cups showed up on your person's side and now the four of cups is, or you may know that this, your emperor, your divine masculine is missing you. you. Do you know that this person is missing you? You know what they want? Or you're, you're not surprised? Or you're marrying this person? All right, show me the divine feminine's energy when it comes to the divine masculine, please. Divine feminine. <laughs> the magician. The magician. Divine feminine energy, please. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to pull some more cards. The lovers. So now we have three major arcana cards. There goes that Nine of Wands. Skeptical energy. You've been through a lot. Divine Feminine, you've been through a lot. You're a little bit wounded. A little bit hurt. Um, mm. <sighs> Page of Swords. So you're curious. You're curious. What What is this Page of Swords about? Why is the Page of Swords here for the Divine Feminine? Judgment. Okay, one more for the Divine Feminine for, for Page of Swords. Okay. Yeah, you're skeptical and you are like either guarded, you're wounded. You're not sure if you want to give something another chance though. So that was you with the Seven of Wands energy blocking. You know what I'm saying? That was you kind of guarded. Um, you're in your head quite a bit with this Eight of Swords energy. You're in your head about whether or not you want to do this. So you're a little bit curious. You're a little curious about what decision you're going to make. I don't think you're going to like die, want to dive head first into this. You're not going to want to dive head first into this. But your divine masculine wants to dive in. Like they want to dive in like Trey Songs. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Okay. So you feel like there's a very strong, passionate, you're healing. That's why you're like, I don't know if I want to do this again. Temperance energy at the bottom of the deck. Um, you're trying to take more of a tempered approach. You're tr you are doing more of a good job. You're not as emotional as the divine masculine, whether you know it or not, feminine, okay? You are very skeptical about this. You're like, I'd rather finish healing. I don't know if I want to take another chance towards this. You're not... I don't, I mean, you may even be manifesting like another option here. You're disappointed in this divine masculine's behavior, the way that they behaved and the way that they acted. You're very, very like just upset with this person and, and, and disappointed. So I don't feel like your hopes are up as high, but this divine masculine is ready to like jump in like, like, you know how they um, double dutch? They're like waiting to double dutch and, and tag in. This is crazy. All right, let's see here. Show me more about this divine masculine because you're very skeptical, feminine. Yeah, chemistry, ace of wands energy. This person is very passionate about you. Very passionate about you, divine feminine. There's a very strong, passionate, yeah, they feel like you bring them peace, you bring them balance, you bring them friendship with the Three of Cups being here. I'm telling you, the two of you are like, have a lot of fun, or this is how this person views you, this is how they see you. Whoa. They definitely want to bring, 
the fun and the, and the friendship back to the connection is really what they want to do. Again, could this totally be someone new? It still totally can. Just apply this where it resonates for you. If you know there's somebody from the past that you're skeptical about, you know why you're skeptical about them. I don't see why you're skeptical about them yet, but I do see some disappointing skeptical guarded energy here and you be it in your head, you know, about whether or not you want to try to reconcile with them. This person definitely disappointed you, so you have every right to feel that way, feminine. You really do. Um, hmm. But for some of you, this is a new person that you're going to have a lot of chemistry with. There's going to be a very, very balanced connection between you and this person, but I feel like when it comes in, you're just going to be like, whoa, I'm a, really, I'm a little skeptical here. Like, is this too good to be true? Because I've been hurt in the past, and yeah, I know I manifested this for myself, and yeah, I know I deserve this, but still, this is a tad bit too much for me. This is too passionate. There's too much chemistry here. I don't want to make the wrong decision because in the past when there was chemistry and when there was passion and attraction and there was this spark, I made the wrong decision. That's the energy I'm getting from this. It didn't go well. And so you're like, I don't want to make the wrong decision here. So I'm just kind of going to hold back here because I don't want to make the wrong decision. Okay. Show me why the Divine Feminine is in, in this Four of Cups. Uh-oh, hold on. What was that that fell on the floor? Hold on. Let me pick it up. Third party. I'm going to put it back. So for some of y'all, this person had a third party. Um, I was getting ready to ask, uh, let's see, why, why is the Divine Feminine so disappointed? Were you disappointed with this person because they had a third party? They had somebody else in the past? What, what's the Four of Cups about? Why are you sad and bored and, and, and not taking this cup here from this masculine? You're, yeah, you're shattered. You're shattered. You're heartbroken. You, you just, this person hurt you. Or in the past, people have hurt you. You know, some, some people did put you in third party. Yeah, they were, this was toxic energy here. Okay, some of you guys may have chased this person quite a bit. In the past, I don't feel like you're doing that anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, you did everything you could to try to make it work. Um, show me why why this Four of Cups is here for the Divine Feminine. Yeah, cloudy judgment. Because you made the wrong judgment call and you don't want to make the wrong decision now moving forward, Feminine. You're you you don't you're trying to bring yourself back into balance. Remember we saw that temperance energy, right? You see this temperance energy. You're trying to do everything you can to bring balance into your life, right? Nine of Swords in this in the um, temperance card. You're trying to temper your emotions. You're in your head quite a bit. There's some imbalance. You 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 know made the wrong decisions in the past and you don't want to make the wrong decisions now but guess what's on the bottom of that nine of swords energy the fool card taking a re risk and taking a leap of faith i feel like some of you all took a risk and a leap of faith towards something to try to reunite but you're going to be in your head about it because the three of cups is underneath that for you in a different deck you're marrying this person you are marrying this person. For some of y'all, there was a third party. And you tried and it didn't work. And you're like, okay, I'm not going to make that same dumbass decision again. You know, you're, you're not interested. Show me more here. Tell me why this lovers is here for the divine feminine. Mm -hmm. you're, I'm telling you, you're doing, why is the... The lover's card here for the divine feminine. Mm -hmm. You, okay. Hold on, let me move this out of the way so I can explain this to you guys. Okay. It definitely looks like here you have mixed emotions and you're trying to do everything you can to block these emotions and how you feel for this person. Because this person sent you mixed signals, they even kind of confused you a little bit. They could have, you, some of you all could have felt like this person had you in a fantasy world. It's some sort of illusion, right? You had on some rose colored glasses. What you thought it was, it wasn't maybe. 
Um, and so you don't want to be in that same energy and space again. I feel like you guys daydream and, 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 and fantasize about this person quite a bit, or you used to, cause you're definitely up in your head, but, but there's some blocked emotions here. This person messed up with you. So now you're like, your, your heart chakra is a little bit blocked, you know, to be real with the heart fog and a fantasy. Some of y'all, the sex could have been like a blockage. It could have like clouded your judgment. So you're just like, I don't want to make that same decision again. You know, why is the eight of swords here? There goes that runner and chaser energy. Look at that. Look, look what just came out for you running. You ran the person you're with is chasing. <laughs> you could flip and switch the roles, but look what came out. We got the runner and the chaser dynamic, okay? So somebody here played the chaser. This person who chased was very toxic, right? They pursued you, you know what I'm saying? But they were real, real toxic, right? And you made, you you had on some rose colored, colored glasses, but you disappeared, I don't know, you know, somebody here ghosted someone here, you ran away. I don't, I don't again, flip and switch the roles, but we have a runner chaser energy here for sure. Wow. Show me more about this Eight of Swords. So you're like, I don't want to be caught up in this drama again. I mean, Divine fam divine Masculine is... The energy looks pretty good. Why is the Eight of Swords here for Divine Feminine? Conflict. Yeah, you're in your head because there you feel like you're not compatible. You feel like the two of you just are not seeing eye to eye. And you do not want to be in conflict with this person again. Show me more on this Eight of Swords, please, for the Divine Feminine. You, for some of y'all, you feel like you cannot trust this person. They're not reliable. And you're exhausted and depleted. It's been a long flipping journey. And you do not want to be back on this road again. Look at this. Exhaustion, loyalty, trusting. You're in your Eight of Swords energy, right? Which is telling me you're all up in your head, but you're all up in your head because of whether or not you want to make this decision with this judgment card, right? Scorpio energy here. Gemini energy is here. Aries is here. Uh, Aquarius is here. Libra is here. Sagittarius is here. Um, yeah. You're just drained. It's been a long road with this person. You want to be able to trust them. You want to believe that it's going to work out this time, but I don't I think you're having a hard time believing that it's going to it's going to be a cold day in hell before you really trust this divine masculine ever again. Is what I'm getting. Show me more here about this judgment. More conflict. I'm telling you, you don't want to make the wrong decision because there was too much hot and cold. This person may have had multiple options or deal with more than one person. They were in and out. They couldn't make a decision. And you are you don't want to be feeling in this energy of feeling hopeless again. You don't want to be in this energy of falling apart again. You know, you don't want to be, it's like a reminder for yourself. Do I really want to be back in this energy ever again? I feel like you don't, you don't. And do what you have to do to protect yourself, Divine Feminine. I don't disagree with you. You should definitely protect yourself. But what I'm seeing over here is just kind of different. I don't. Let's see what's going on over here for this Divine Masculine. What does this Divine Masculine want to say to Divine Feminine, please? How are they feeling? I'm ready for commitment. I can't make this shit up. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles is here, the Ten of Cups is here, the Fool card is here, the Star card is here, the <sighs> Balance is here, Justice is here, right? Show me more for the Divine Masculine. I can't go another day without you. I think this person's serious, y'all. I don't know. I don't blame you, but I don't, I'm just telling you what I see in the cards. Show me this divine master, please. Ooh, ooh. I let people manipulate me into ghosting you. So, oh, so the runner was the divine masculine here? 
and they ghosted you. That's why they. That's why you can't trust this person with your heart again. That's why you're closed off and guarded in the Seven of Wands energy, the Nine of Wands energy, the Eight of Swords energy. That's why you're like, I'm not going to make the decision again. It's too much damn conflict. Show me this Divine Masculine, please. Yeah, that's what that is. I want to kiss you. And they do want to kiss you because this person is extremely attracted to you. Okay. They want a family with you. I, look, bottom of the deck is I need to tell you the truth. This person wants to have a conversation. This person, look at what's on the bottom of that. I don't know how to handle my emotions right now. They cannot handle their... I'm telling you, this divine masculine is more emotional than you. and Which makes plenty of sense because... This is you in Divine Feminine. The Emperor showed up. The Emperor showed up with the Four of Cups and the uh, Magician card, right? And I feel like this is you saying, "I'm a, I don't, I am not gonna be taken advantage of of again. I, you won't see me in a weak state again." This is you. I might be emotional and disappointed and sad and a little bored or, or discontent, but I'm going to maintain control over my emotions and just move on and manifest something new with this magician card. And I'll be damned if I take you back. That's, that's the energy I'm just really getting here, to be quite honest. Let's see what else this... Um, I love you enough to fight for you and compromise for you and sacrifice for you if need be. Hold on, I'm trying to pick the dang on deck up, and this is that one card that wouldn't that wouldn't um, that I couldn't get. It says, "I love you enough to fight for you, compromise for you, and sacrifice for you if need be." But but whatever they didn't do in the past, they definitely didn't do that in the past. In feminine, I feel like they didn't do that in the past. They allowed too much conflict and toxicity to get in the way and manipulation from other people to get in the way of this connection. What else does this divine masculine want to say? I love you. <laughs> this person is so emotional. Oh my God. It says, I love you. I mean, like I am in love with you. I've never felt in my life felt this way towards anyone. I am not making this up. This person is emotional as shit. Look, I love you. I mean, like I am in love with you. I've never felt this way ever before in my life towards anyone. And y'all know I wear glasses to see. I don't wear glasses for fashion. I'm just... Just, just a disclaimer, okay? Um, it says, I want to text you all the time and see how you're doing, but I know I can't because deep down, I know it wouldn't change anything. See what I'm saying? This person knows whatever it is that they did, did to you. You're in this energy of light. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Your voice is my favorite sound. So this person wants to call and hear your voice and talk to you. They're very, very emotional. This person is flipping out. They can't, they're very emotional. They can't go another day without you. They are struggling. You touched me so deeply. Listen, you touched this person's heart like nobody ever did. This person wants everything with you. They're realizing that. They're realizing that. You need to move on and forget me. I feel like this is you. This person feels like they tried to move on and forget you, but they're not able to do that. Maybe this person ghosted you or told you one day, like, you need to just forget me. And there was an argument and you're like, what the, f like, really? Is that how you treat me? Is that how you talk to me? Is that what we're doing nowadays? Like, cause if that's what we're doing, and you just, that's why you're so hurt. And you're like, I'd be damned if I take the, give this another chance. or give this another shot. So a lot of you guys are not going to give this person another shot at all. <sighs> I want to tap into this magician energy for the divine feminine and see what you're, I'm, I'm going to clarify the magician for you, okay? Um, you are craving that I never satisfy. We definitely know they're craving you. I miss talking to you every day. This divine masculine misses talking to you. I mean, they do. It says, I can't promise you a perfect relationship. But what I can promise you is that as long as we're staying together, I'm trying. Mm, Y'all not together. I don't I don't see the divine feminine being able to, to listen. I didn't even notice this card. Let me read this to you. Wait, y'all ready for this? I underestimated how important you are in my life. 
read that. I understand, I underestimated how important you are in my life. They didn't realize who they were, who you were until you walked away. See, this is the problem. So it's like you got to walk away from these people for them to see. For them to see. Let's, um, sad. It's real sad energy, I tell you. Because now somebody's probably learned the lesson of their dang old life. They're never going to learn a more important lesson in life. If you don't take this person back, this person is about to learn a very, 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 very valuable lesson. Very, very, very valuable lesson. Let's clarify the magician. What is the divine mass? Mm, what is the divine? The divine masculine is trying to manifest you back. Why is the div divine feminine here? What are they manifesting with this magician? Please clarify the magician for the divine feminine. Yeah. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. All right, show me more about what the Divine Feminine is manifesting here. I like it when readings happen like this. You're unexpectedly, what is this? There's a lot of Scorpio energy showing up here. This, this, the Tower card and the um, Death card just came out. After some form of ending, you're getting some form of new beginning here unexpectedly look at all this scorpio energy show me more about this magician please the empress hello the empress and the queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio or to oh i didn't see what was underneath this king of wands this might be a new person look at this the king of wands somebody here is about to take action towards you this is what this king of wands wants this with you you might have a new person, I don't know. I don't know if this is a new person or not, but with the, um, it's either a new person or the emperor wants a new stable beginning with you, which we already know they do. But for some of y'all, it totally could be new. So maybe that's why the lovers is here because divine feminine, you might have a choice in between this emperor, your divine masculine and another person, this King of Wands. And guess what? The King of Wands can be an emperor too. Hello? Because the emperor is already out here from the same day. So don't get it twisted. The new person can totally be just as good or if not better than your past person. So don't stay stuck and hung up on this shit. Let me clarify the King of Wands. Because see, this King of Wands sees you as an empress. And they see you as a queen of cups. They see you as somebody who is loving, who is kind, who is nurturing somebody they can have a family with, somebody who who has so much love to give. See, this king of wands sees you for who you are already. I, straight out the gate. Why is the king of wands here? Mm-hmm. Like I said, this is somebody here who wants, wants to give you equal give and take. Equal reciprocity, like Lauren Hill said. And it's coming in towards you. Uh, I feel like this is your ex. Uh, I don't know. I feel like this is your ex. Anyway, let me show you the cards that came out for the King of Wands. Because that was the bottom of the deck. King of Wands came out with the High Priestess and the Two of Cups. This King of Wands knows who you are they see you for the high priestess right because the, the queen of cups they know that you are intuitively they know you are their person they're going to trust their intuition about who you are they're going to be willing to you're going to be on the same page with this person so either a this is a new person who immediately recognizes your soul they know who you are they're going to give you whatever it is you need you're not going to need to be in your head or this is your past person coming back and now they're trusting their intuition. Now they're finally seeing you for the Empress and the Queen of Cups that you are. Now they're seeing you as the bad bitch who you've always been. They didn't trust their intuition in the past. They underestimated how important you were to them. Remember that? Oh, you who 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 underestimated the Queen of Cups, the Empress, and the High Priestess? Who did? Somebody, somebody said you was looking for me. <laughs> like,
like, what are you talking about? I don't get it with these people. I mean, we all have life lessons. We all have life, life lessons. We do. We do. I've learned a bunch. I'm still learning. We're all still learning. We're all still here to continue to learn and continue to grow. That will forever be what we do while we're here because we signed up for it. Let's be honest. Let's be honest with ourselves. Let's be honest with each other. But this was actually a pretty dang on good reading, you guys. Let me know in the comments if it resonated for you. I... Good luck. Trust your intuition. Make the best decision for yourself. Because it looks like you're like just tired of the hoopla, the back and forth, the running and the chasing. It's just like shit. Like, I'm done with the marathon at this point. Like, you guys are tapped out. You're tapped out. And I don't blame you. You got this uh, divine masculine over here in their feelings, though. They're losing it. They're losing their shit over you, okay? Love y'all. Hit the like button. See y'all later. Bye.